the local government Oji Apo, Oji Omena Deputy Governor, if we're here, those who raise you, all Yamu and Anuna, my other program. Anya and I are here, so those who raise you, eh, Ule Mene, okay, okay. Ule Mene, the local government, Abu Omena, and one nine woke up, good minister. Minister, <laughs> <laughs> Council of traditional ruler. I am ready to die. I am ready Nagano, <laughs> Legacy program governor. Such light around the global layout. 
This is where we are today. We are in the government. In East Wisdom decided to relocate the government house, which you have already visited. In this process, the present judge, Shokumbia, the secretary, became affected. Hence, they need to relocate to the new site. However, in relocating the judge, Shokumbia, the secretary, it was considered worthwhile and prudent to consult the pieces that would accommodate both Jack and DSA and other stakeholders in the local government system. Following these developments, the state and local government decided to construct new ultra-modern Jack Sokundiese Secretariat. That is what you have there on the table, the model that will accommodate both Minister of Local Government and Chief Minister Affairs, ADSA Universal Basic Education Board, ASUBED, Local Government Pension Board, Local Government Service Commission, and the Office of the Auditor General of Local Government. His Excellency, the Zephyr Governor, facilitated the allocation of portions of land and gave his consent for a speedy realization of this project within a record time. Let me just give a hint that the discussion with the contractor, he has promised that this project will be realized before the end of this year, and we are very, very sure of that. <laughs> To the glory of God, we are gathered here today for the foundation lane ceremony. It is hoped that when this project is realized, it will ensure comfort for optimal productivity within the civil service system. It will also lead to desired synergy between Ministry of Local Government and Chief Minister Affairs and agencies doing business with it. We sincerely appreciate the harmonious relationship between the government and our host communities, especially the more autonomous community, whose Royal Highness is as the donor to say, I do the upon the two of them. May God bless His Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Abia State, and the good people of Abia State. Thank you all. He is known as Ogrubele Al. The goal of this place is Ogrubele Al. We have decided, Government of Abia State decided to put up structures, and these structures we are putting in Ogrubele Al. Now, the new government house is here, and for that place to be accommodated, we now decided to demolish structures that were existing there, like the Jack Building, which we also built. So, to accommodate Jack Building, we have come here to bring them together. We have also decided to bring Asupem to this particular complex, so that what we are doing is to bring buildings that will house all the civil servants, all the working force in other state in the central place where they can be relocated. So that if you want to come to Africa, you come here. You want to come to Jack, you come here. You want to come to Secretary, you come here. No more going from one street to another in Omai. <laughs> seen here is the prototype of the house we are going to build and we consider it an honor that the honorable minister who has come to Adia State should do one remarkable thing for which you'll be remembered for coming here and that remarkable thing is to lay the foundation stone for these two structures which will be inscribed at the completion of this building. His name will be there and will be forever and ever. So he will be all of our legacy. As well as building legacy projects, we have the minister as our brother who has commissioned the legacy project. On that note, let me invite the honorable minister to come and uh, lay the foundation stone for these two uh, projects. <laughs> Well done, Chief Mason. Chief Builder.
Any question, please, from the press and the civil society? I want to say that I'm surprised uh, what I've been seeing from the Secretariat to the Civic Cent uh, Conference Centre and to this place. And uh, the Governor Tour has been given a surprise too because the foundation lay ceremony is taking place today. We commend the Governor and people of other state and we wish that this foundation being laid today will rise and stand. Thank you very much. Thank you. I don't lay foundations that don't rise and stand. <laughs> Your Excellency, sir, there is a, uh, this uh, clamor for the suppression of this issue of a uh, joint account, and today you are laying the foundation so for the joint uh, account committee. Uh, what, what is your opinion on this issue of uh, having a separate uh, joint, I mean, separating local government and the state uh, account? My sister, it depends on the way you see it. You can see the dividends here that we are building this from that account that is corporately kept by the local government and the state government. As far as this state is concerned, we are managing it very well and we are doing very well with it. That is my opinion about it. I would like, I would, I would like to add something. Um, well, I, I'm saying so because I used to be a deputy governor right. for four years. And I know that joint account has been misrepresented in several respects. I also know that there are abuses you know, uh, of joint account. And the principle of joint account is that the state and local governments operate the same administrative unit. And that you cannot really develop a state on different parameters unless the local government and the state government have a common vision and are able to harmonize or harness their resources to realize the dreams of that particular state. It would be very difficult for you to realize proper development. And this joint account, as I used to understand it, is that the state government brings in some money, the local government brings in some money, key problems relating to grassroots development. That's the same way we're having a joint account, a federation account, from where money is derived and allocated. So money comes from different parts of the local government and the state government, so it goes into a joint account. And it is then distributed to the various local councils towards the development of the grassroots. And I think that is the principle. And uh, so in my opinion, uh, joint account is good, especially if you have leaders that are prepared to use money for development. And I think this is the evidence. Yes. Thank you. 